First off, did you know that 75% of your brain mass is made up of a substance called myelin? And get this, myelin is 100% composed of cholesterol. That's right, cholesterol is essential for maintaining the structure and function of your brain. And without enough cholesterol, your brain simply can't operate at its best. So now let's switch gears and talk about Alzheimer's disease. Now this devastating neurodegenerative condition destroys brain cells and has become a leading cause of death in Western societies. Shockingly, Alzheimer's was virtually unheard of until 1979. So what changed? Well, that's where our next topic comes in. So margarine, a butter substitute, was first invented way back in 1869 for Napoleon's armies. It didn't really catch on until World War II when butter and animal fats were sourced. Now in 1950s, margarine gained popularity, but in the 1970s, food manufacturers started replacing the animal fats and margarine with vegetable oils. And the reason? Animal fats contain saturated fats and cholesterol, and the food industry wanted to offer a healthier, low cholesterol alternative. But here's the kicker. Margarine is just one molecule away from being plastic. You heard that right. As any chemist will tell you, a single molecule can make a massive difference in the properties of a compound. Just look at ethanol and methanol. They differ by only one molecule, but their effects on the human body are vastly different. So to illustrate this point, let's do a simple experiment. So take a slab of butter, a slab of vegetable margarine with no animal fats, and a piece of plastic. Place them outside in your garden and observe what happens. The butter will quickly attract all sorts of wildlife flies, beetles, birds, rodents, and even apex bat predators like foxes and badgers. If there is no wildlife around, bacteria and mold will readily break down the butter because it's easily digestible for all organic life forms. So in contrast, the margarine and plastic will sit there for weeks untouched by nature. So what does this all mean? Well, I invite all the GPs out there to take a closer look at their patients' medical records. Check how many of your patients with dementia, particularly Alzheimer's, have been on statins or low cholesterol diets for extended periods. The connection between cholesterol depletion and brain health is hard to ignore. A study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that individuals with higher levels of LDL cholesterol, often thought as being bad cholesterol, had a 47% lower risk of developing dementia compared to those with a lower level. Another study in the American Journal of Epidemiology revealed that participants with the highest levels of total cholesterol had a 32% lower risk of Alzheimer's compared to those with the lowest levels. And these findings suggest that cholesterol, including saturated fats from animal sources, play a protective role in brain health. By demonizing cholesterol and promoting low-fat diets, we may be inadvertently contributing to the rise of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. But of course, more research is needed to fully understand the complex relationship between dietary fats, cholesterol, and brain health. However, the evidence we have so far should make us question the conventional wisdom surrounding saturated fats and cholesterol. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on this topics. And if you're a GP, have you noticed any patterns in your patients with dementia and their cholesterol levels or statins use? Leave a comment below and let's start the discussion. Cheers.